Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ABC Fantasy Focus. My name is ABC. Obviously, I'm alone tonight, and I could not find my jacket and hat. I apologize for that in advance. It was uh, kind of a hard work doing this. Now, we have the first game of the NFL is on tomorrow night. I'm so excited. I'm sure you all are too. But with that comes very important decisions for your fantasy lineups, which is why I am here. So let's get started. We've got a Thursday night matchup between the Chiefs and the Patriots. Good game should start off. Now, I'm going to do my lineup and then I'm going to do game picks. This is just how we're going to do this. Alright. At quarterback, oh come on, if you don't know who to pick out of these two teams, you're crazy. Tom Brady, I very much dislike Tom Brady, but he's a really good quarterback. He's the only choice here. Alex Smith isn't a good fantasy quarterback. Running back. This is an interesting one because neither of these teams are very... The Chiefs have a good run game, but they always split up the backs. And with Spencer Ware hurt, it's kind of interesting. But if you had to pick running backs for this, I would say probably James White or Kareem Hunt. James White, as you know, was a big force on the Patriots Super Bowl team. Whether he'll have the same production against the Chiefs defense, I don't know. But if you have to, out of these Patriots, he's the best back. For the Chiefs, it's Kareem Hunt, the rookie who will be replacing Spencer Ware for most of the season. Uh, he looked electric in training camp in preseason. I liked him coming out of college, so he'll be pretty good. Wide receiver. Last time out, the which was 20... Last time they met in the playoffs. The, re the main receiver in that game was Julian Edelman. He, of course, has torn his ACL... So, as it is with the Patriots, next man up. And that next man up is their newest acquisition, Brandon Cooks. He is always a good fantasy guy, and he's always had good quarterbacks. He's had Drew Brees, now he has Tom Brady. And with Edelman, look for him to get even more catches than he would. His speed versus Kansas City defense is the only thing that will separate him from the pack, and he is just a great fantasy receiver. He'll probably put up good points for you. Tight end. You cannot go wrong with any of the two starting tight ends in this game. If you have Rob Gronkowski or Travis Kelsey in your lineup, that is exceptional for you. For the Chiefs, Travis Kelsey is basically the number one receiver as a tight end. They really don't have another mainstream number one receiver. He is the guy in Kansas City. Gronk is Gronk, so he's good through the beginning of the season anyway. He doesn't get hurt yet, so he'll be fine. At flex, it's going to be the special teams extremist. Tyree Kill. He's turning actually into a very competent slot receiver. He's going to get the ball. The Chiefs are going to find ways to feed him the ball, whether it's special teams, whether it's jet sweeps, whether it's passes. They're going to find a way to get him the ball. He's going to get the ball, and he's going to score. Defenses. This is interesting, but this game will probably not be that high score. I'm not predicting any more than 28 points to really be the... Um, ha, ha, ha. Get that giggle out of your system. 28 points to be the real... Uh, high score of this game. So both these defenses are good defenses, and they both will put up numbers. As far as my game predictions go, this is are two of the best teams in the AFC. The Chiefs are always kind of underrated, and they always kind of fly under the radar. They're always a dark horse team, and there's a real reason for that. They have a very good track record, at least in the regular season, against the Patriots, mainly because they have the formula for beating the Patriots. Now, I'm going to describe the formula for beating the Patriots to you. Defense, get to Tom Brady. Sack Tom Brady. Done. Chiefs can do that. Good secondary and linebacking core can take care of Gronk and the rest of the receivers. Good. Conservative offense. Doesn't have to be an electric offense, but they can't really turn the ball over. The Chiefs are one of the best teams in the NFL at making sure they don't turn over the ball. Alex Smith is as... Terrible for fantasy is, he's a good game manager. He doesn't turn the ball over. He has a dink and dunk style of passing. It works. They get points on the board, and then they win with their defense. The Patriots formula is just, quite honestly, the Patriots formula. Brady's little five-yard slants over the middle of the field once in a while with a play action. He'll throw deep to Cooks at some point. Um, but their defense is good. This should be a real slugfest. should be a good game. This game probably won't be decided until the fourth quarter. It will be good. As far as my picks go, this is hard, but... As much as this hurts me, I can't say the Patriots 
won't win this one. I mean, it's in Gillette. Season opener. They had, they're coming out here. There's, I don't see them losing this game. The Chiefs will put up a very valiant fight, though. It's going to be one drive, one play that's going to determine this game. More likely than not. Could we have one of those weird games where for whatever reason a good team gets it blown out? Yeah, sure, but I don't see it happening. The Chiefs in the regular season always seem to have an interesting, uh, almost have Brady's number. And it's kind of, uh, kind of odd sometimes, but it's true, they do. And that's just really it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this advice helps you out. I am so excited for the NFL season and the new season of the Fantasy Focus. I'm sure you will be too. This weekend we have games. Teddy and Max will be back. We'll have our regular thing. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you this weekend.